Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to install Windows 11 on Surface Go, Surface Pro, or Surface Laptop. My Surface Go is very old now, the performance is very low. So in this tutorial, I will install the famous version Tiny 11. It's very fast. It's the lightest Windows 11 version you can install. This video will be very quick. I will show you step by step, so hope you watch to the end of the video. First of all, you need to prepare a USB or an SD card over here. I recommend you need to prepare a USB or an SD card at least 8 gigabyte. Remember that Microsoft Surface have built in SD card at the back of the device. If you want to use a USB like this, you need to have an OTG adapter. This one is a type C to connect to the surface and this one to connect my USB like this. Or you need to have an USB Type-C hub. As you can see, I'm using Microsoft Surface Go with 8 gigabyte RAM and 100 gigabyte storage with an Intel, so it's very low end hardware. You can check my task manager over here. I'm running original Windows 10 come from Microsoft Surface. You can see in the memory tab, we have 3.2 memories I in use. I don't have any apps running in the background right now. Original Windows 10 take 41% memories of my Surface Go. So that is the reason I want to upgrade to Tiny 11. Okay, after that, you need to prepare this three file. I will leave the download link in the description below or in the comments. This file is the most important file in this video. This file is Tiny 11 ISO installation. If you want to install stock Windows 11 or install original Windows 10 come from Microsoft Surface, you need to download Windows 10 or Windows 11 ISO installation file. Okay, the next file is Rufus. This app allows you to transfer all the Windows installation file to your USB and make it bootable. Okay, now you need to take your USB and connect to your OTG adapters and connect USB Type-C to your Surface Go USB port. You can see my USB over here. I have 16 gigabytes. Now you need to format your USB. You will right click and choose format. I will choose start. Now you can see format complete. I will come back to Rufus app over here. I will run this app by administrator. Now you can see the interface of Rufus app. It's very easy to use. You can see the device at here. This one is my USB. You can see the boot selection over here. You need to select an ISO image. You will choose select over here. And you will navigate to your ISO installation file. So all the settings, you can skip because it's all set up for you. After you load your ISO file over here, you need to make sure that your partition is GPT and the target system is UEFI. Now you can choose start over here. All the data will be destroyed. You click OK. Now you need to wait for a while. It could be 10 or even 20 minutes. I will come back after this one is finished. Now you can see it's finished. This USB is ready. Now before we starting the installation, you need to make sure that your surface have at least 50%. If your surface have lower than 50%, you need to charge your device until it have more than 50%. Okay, now you need to power up your surface. After your device is powered up, you need to do the action like me. We have the power button right here and we have the volume up button right here. You need to press and hold the power button and the volume up button. After you see the logo, you will release the power button and you will enter the surface UEFI setting. You go to the boot configuration. Now I need to boot on my USB to run window installation. So I need to put USB storage over here to the first order. You can see my USB storage. Now every time my device boot, it will always boot from USB storage first. Before you restart your device, you need to connect your USB into Microsoft Surface USB Type-C port. Okay, you can see I connected my USB. I will restart now. We need to wait a little bit to the boot option. You can see now setup is starting. It's booting from my USB over here. Now you need to choose where you want to install the Windows. You can see right here, we have four different partitions. We have a system partition right here. This one, we will not touch it. We have the system reserved over here. We not touch it either. This one is recovery. We also not touch it. And we install the windows in our primary partition. You need to choose format. You click OK. After that, you choose next over here. 
Now you can see it starts a window installation and you can wait in five or 10 minutes. I will come back after this one is paper. See, the device will restart in some couple of seconds. So you need to unplug your USB. You need to wait a little bit because the device can turn on and turn off a couple of times before it go into the main windows. We finally install Windows 11 in Microsoft. Surface Go. You can see my device memory after I install Tiny 11. We only need 27% memories of the device. In Windows 10, we need at least 45% of memories to run it. So Tiny 11 in Microsoft Surface Go is 100% better. I will recommend you guys use this version on Surface Go. Now you need to reinstall all the drivers. You can go to this link over here, iob.com slash driver booster you just need to download the free version and install it now you can see we have driver booster install over here to install and update all the drivers you choose the scan option i will choose scan you can see we have 22 outdated device drivers like camera monitor sounds bluetooth and now i just click update all the drivers download and update automatically Okay, that's all my videos. If my video is helpful, please give me a like and subscribe and drop a comment below if you want to ask me anything related to Microsoft Surface. I will see you in my next videos.